Hello, investing friends, friends of financial freedom. Welcome into Investors Club. Got a great show for you. Go buy some Casada Sciences common stock right now because this, there's a few hours left. There's a few hours left. There's four hours, less than four hours left. I guess you can buy in the after hours, maybe. Anyway, maybe not. There's less than four hours left for you to buy the Casada Sciences common stock, settle two days later and be a record holder on Friday and then be given free warrants four for 10. We're going to go through all the details. Somebody asked in the, uh, in the Discord, can you go through the de details? And basically everybody's confused, and me too, obviously, because I tweeted this out saying today's the last day. Then somebody said, isn't Friday the last day? I was like, oh yeah, Friday's the last day. Wait a minute, today's the last day. So I tweeted all that out, I had to untweet all that, retweet. It was a mess. Let's dive into it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Cassava is doing well in the carnage as well because... Uh, Labu is down 3%, meaning the biotechs themselves are down 1%, 0.92%. But it's because, as we know, there is TLT, even though Jay, even though Jay uh, tried to jawbone rates lower and temporarily did, the TLT is flatlined today. You know, the more that this is choppy and not responding, the quicker I think we're going to get quantitative easing in one of the best bull markets we've ever had, literally. Uh, but cassava is running more than 3%, even though the yields are not cooperating today. Let's take a look at these warrants. I'll tell you, I got to do like a survey of who's watching because I don't know who's watching. I thought my warrant joke would go over better. I put a picture of the band warrant. Nobody, I don't think anybody, I got one person said it was funny. It's funny. <laughs> got to figure out figure out uh, people's sense of humors and whatnot. All right. Uh, so here is, I, I emailed Cassava a couple hours ago. So uh, there's an email address here. If you got any questions. So I emailed and said, I'm doing a show on the warrants. You got anything? Have not heard back yet. Uh, you got anything you want me to pass along? Have not heard back yet. So let's just go through the uh, question and answer. Numero uno. I'm sure this is working. Yipperino. Numero uno, why? 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 The answer to why is Cassava doing a warrant distribution? It is to complete the amazing clinical development of semifilam, possibly the first disease modifying treatment in Alzheimer's disease, the biggest unmet medical need in the world now. And the baby boom generation is about to obliterate the budgets of every government in the world by, <laughs> by getting Alzheimer's disease. We need a cure. And so they were going to complete that program. And, and then somebody said yesterday, it's December in the Discord. It's December, right? Yes, they're saying in approximately December 2024, we expect to have top line clinical results for one of two ongoing phase three trials. Remember, they've got the one with, a th uh, one with uh, 750 people, one with 1,100 people. Uh, this will be the one with 750 people that is a year long. The other one has three arms. 1,000, 1,100 people, it is 18 months. Okay, so it's to finish the great program. What else? Uh, where can I, I didn't zoom the camera in enough today. Uh, where can I find all the terms? Well, January 3rd, there will be a warrant agreement filed. It is not filed yet. How does it work in practice? You will receive free of charge by doing nothing other than owning the shares. Buy them today and own them, and that's it. And then you have to do nothing. You will receive free of charge these warrants. Each warrant will entitle the holder to purchase at the exercise price one share of common stock. And then we'll talk about the bonus portion. They may exercise their warrants and may sell their warrants to open market for cash. So let's stop there. And let's talk about calls and warrants in general. It's the same thing. Well, we talk about calls here and there. We're talking about these warrants. It's the same thing in that. Now, now these warrants have special provisions. And the biggest, the, the big difference between calls and warrants is when you buy a call, you give the money to someone on the other side of the trade or the Chicago Board's Open Options Exploration uh, Market Board, whatever they are. Uh, but when you do a warrant, warrants are to fund the companies. So they are effectively call options that when they are exercised, the money does not go to the Chicago board or to some trader. The money goes to the company to fund the company. So these are call options that fund the company and they can have special provisions like this one does with its bonus period. Okay. So what is a call option in general? A call option in general gives you the right to buy a stock at a certain price by a certain date. 
So I talk about these January 2025 $75 call options. It gives you the right to buy the stock at $75 and it costs about three bucks to be in that position. So if you bought, uh, you would have to buy, if the stock is at $30, let's say, you'd have to buy 10 times as much. Remember I was talking to, uh, who was it, Simon, was it, uh, that would had the 16,000 shares and I was saying consider the options. So if, if you can buy this call for three bucks and the stock's at 30 bucks, then it, you, can, you can get the same amount of exposure basically less the, 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 uh, the strike difference. Uh, so you get So let's say that, let's say the cassava went to $1,075. I think it's going to go to four digits. Then you, you could buy the, then you have the right to buy it at 75. So what is that worth? A thousand dollars. How much did you pay to be in that position? $3. What is your return? 300 X. So that, that's why we talk about those call options, but I digress. We're talking about call options in general. So it gives you the right to buy at a certain price by a certain date. So these uh, warrants give you the right to buy the stock at a certain price by a certain date. What is that certain price? $33. What is that date? November. Okay, so basically, this if, remember last when uh, before the in the phase two, this wasn't even a phase three, but it was a phase two where the stock went to 146 in anticipation of those great results. And then there was the mother of all short attacks. Well, that was that was the run up from, you know, it was like $30 or $50, whatever it was. And then it went up to it was maybe around the 40s. And then it started just going up and up and up into 140, 146. So anyway, if we, I think we're going to get a run up again. It's one or two billion now. And it's going it, to it looks like it's going to have the, a, a good treatment. Remember, these people would have seen the open label extension. So it looks like it's going to be a successful treatment and the biggest unmet medical need in the world. It's going to be worth at least 50 billion or whatever it is. I'm digressing. So a warrant gives you the right to buy at a certain price called the strike price by a certain date called the expiration. Same as a call. The difference is the money goes to the company that issues it. It's helped to raise, help them raise. And then these have a special provision. There's the bonus. So instead of, instead of give, just giving you this warrant that gives you the right to buy at 33, uh, if, you, if you then buy at 33, I'm going to exercise this. Now you get one and a half shares. So not only, so if you wait until the run up, you can buy this, this uh, warrant gives you the right to buy at 33. Let's say Cassava goes to 133 on the run up. This, uh, this warrant is worth a hundred bucks intrinsically. What did you pay for it? Nothing. <laughs> so let's say, let's say you just paid $1 for it. Or they'll probably, you'll probably be able to sell for about five or 10 bucks, we said. Say you sell for five, let's say you can say, say that these are things that are going for five bucks. And then Cassava goes to 130, you have 133, you have the right to buy at 33, it's worth 100 intrinsically, you paid five for it, you get a 20X. So that's what's so good about these calls and warrants. You can use them for leverage and it doesn't have to be to YOLO to put on extra risk. You can take off risk. You can, in, in, like in, in Simon's case, if he didn't want to YOLO, you, this is a great play. And Alzheimer's disease is the biggest, it gets going to come and crush the budgets. If this is what it is, it's going to be huge. Like forget other healthcare plays. This is the answer. So it, if you are that aggressive, so you can put some extra on with this instead. I wish I had more money. Well, you can have more money. It's more risk. Uh, you can have more money. It's leverage. So you can either use it to, to protect yourself and take 90% of your cash and not let it get touched or to put on extra, an extra aggressive play. So anyway, that, that's what the warrant is. It gives you a right to buy at a certain price by a certain date. Okay. Is it the same thing as a share of common stock? If you exercise it, it gives you a regular share of common stock. But until then, it's, a, it's that option to buy a common with buy at a certain price by a certain date. How will warrants I receive? How many will I receive? You get four warrants for every 10 shares. So if you have 100 shares, you get 40, etc. cetera. Uh, will there be a market for warrants? Yes, they are expected to list as S-A-V-A-W, Sava-W, sava sava we decided in the Discord, we'd be like Wawa, we would call it Sabawa. <laughs> How much cash will Cassava Sciences raise? They don't know, but half a billion about, if everything's exercised. Will the exercise of the warrants result in the issuance of shares of common stock? Yes. But remember, there's all these phantom shares. So we're saying this is a trade from the phantom to the real. That's gonna, that we are, we are for, and it was part of bringing these new awesome people on board. When will the warrants expire? F about five o'clock Friday, November 15th. However, it could be before that. So remember, it looks like these are, remember they said data in the December approximately. So it looks like these are for the run-up, but not for the data itself. <clears throat> is there, an, what is the exercise price? 33 bucks. What is this bonus share business? Well, if you don't wait, if you, you could hang on to these warrants 
and participate in the run-up. And uh, if you wanted to do that, that's fine. Uh, you could also exercise now uh, and instead of waiting to exercise later. And if you exercise now, you get one and a half shares. So it's a bonus. So it's a pretty darn good thing. The only other thing about that is if you don't have the cash to exercise it, that's okay because it's such a darn good thing. It has value. So you could sell it as well. So you could you can you can just either use it to exercise and you're getting an effective price of 22. So the stock's at 29 right now. You get one and a half shares, not just one, but one and a half shares that you can exercise at 33. So that and that half is just a bonus. So your effective exercise price is 22 bucks. So 29, it's free money. So right, so it's uh, so it's free money. So you could say it's worth seven bucks right now, I guess. Uh, when does the bonus share program begin and end? Begins in the distribution date or the warrants on or about January 3rd. So you buy today, that makes sure you have it. That means that you have it on Friday on the record date, but you buy today so that it settles by the record date. And then you get the warrants on or about January 3rd. And then from there, you got about a month. This is the, the bonus share expiration date will be the earlier of the first business day following the first 30 consecutive trading day period in which the daily volume weighted average price of the shares of common stock has been at least equal to the specified price, initially 2640, for at least 20 trading days, whether or not consecutive, and the second condition, the date specified by the company upon not less than 20 business days notice. I don't know what that means and I'm not gonna try. <laughs> Will you, but it's soon, so soonish. So when you get it, when you get the chance to exercise it, do it and you get the, uh, cause it ends within a month or whatever. Uh, will you issue, issue fractional warrants? So if you have three shares, do I get a warrant? No. Or do you, if I have two shares, do I get a warrant? No. Owning fewer than three, you don't get one. If you have three, you get one. Is there any cost to stockholders? No cost. Do I have to do anything to receive my warrants? You gotta be a, uh, you gotta be a holder, a record holder by Friday. It means you gotta buy today because it takes two days to settle. Can I sell the warrants? You bet you can. If I sell my common stock, must I also sell my warrants? They're, it's two different things. So it's just another, it's, it's like having another security in your portfolio. They don't, once you get it, it's not linked. You can do whatever you want with the common, you can do whatever you want with the warrants. They're not, they're not linked, they're separate stuff after that. How soon can I exercise my warrants? Immediately after you get them. You can exercise them right away, then you're sure you'll be part of the bonus program, or you can sell them right away and you can sure they have the bonus uh, value in them when you're selling them. Must I exercise or sell my warrants by a particular date? You bet, Friday, November 15th approximately is the expiration. If you haven't done anything with them by then, they're worthless. What happens after the warrants are redeemed or expire? They have zero, they're gone, they're, they, that's it, they're, they're retired. Those are, the option to do that is now used and it's gone forever. Will I owe taxes on this distribution? It is Cassava Sciences intends to structure this warrant distribution as a non-taxable distribution. But then here is a whole bunch of legalese. They say, we don't offer tax advice, all that stuff. They even wrote legalese, if you can see that. That was them, not me, I promise. <laughs> Uh, what is the record date of the dist? I was, that's kidding. I'm a Christian. I gotta say, I'm kidding. What is the record date of the distribution? Friday it means you gotta buy today. So buy now, as they say. You can see right here, buy now. And that's it. That is it. That my investing friends. Let's go to the phones. Mesha, good to see you, my friend. Good morning, savages. Good to hear as Joe is always. Mesha, great to see you, my friend. Thank you for the positivity. It's great to see you, my friend. So glad you're here. Balbus, I'm so glad you're here. Look at the nice, uh, look at the nice flower you brought. Pardons if this was an answer before, but I can't seem to get my head around whether we will receive 40% of our shares as a gift or if we have to buy them. You get warrants uh, representing 40% uh, of your shares as a gift. So if you have 1,000 shares, you get 400 warrants or if we have to buy them. You don't have to buy them. You just get them. Never understood the exercise term. Exercise means I, in fact, do want to buy these at $33. Uh, so if you do that during the, and if you do that during the bonus period, you get one and a half shares. So it's effectively 22 bucks. So it's free money. So you would definitely do that or sell it to somebody else that would because it has value. It has that $7 of intrinsic value. 
William, hiya, Joe. Hiya, William. Thank you again for all you do. Can you re-explain the buy calls strategy for beginners? Thank you, brother. I, I, I got his did. If you need more, tell me. Ask again. But I explained the calls in general. Tell me if that was enough. Jay, hey, Joe, hey, Jay. With the dates with the warrants have to be exercised, wouldn't it be reasonable to assume that they have something up their sleeve to announce before the warrants expire? It very well could be. People keep saying that. I am long. I'm thinking this works. I'm thinking these three people they signed are top-notch people and they wouldn't have signed. They're, they would have looked at that open label extension data. There's no way they wouldn't have. And they all three of these top-notch people signed, that data is good. And these, we know, I might have just froze. We know people were screened well, finally, in phase three. So I'm, I'm convinced that, and now I think they got to look at the, at the open label extension, which is the baseline, which is the, the final reading of phase of the phase three, then it serves as the beginning of the blinded phase three, then it serves as the beginning. So I think they would have got a look at that. So anyway, I'm long term. I think it's going to win. I think it's going to work and it's going to be a 50 billion uh, for, for starters or whatever. Uh, with the dates, the one, remember 20 and 40 billion is what Biogen and Lilly were jumping up. And this is going to be good data, not crap data. <laughs> Hey, Joe, with the dates of the warrants that the exercise, wouldn't it be reasonable to assume that they have something up there? Yes. So everybody keeps saying, uh, sorry, I couldn't, uh, that they, everybody, keep, everybody else is saying, yeah, they'll have a partnership and maybe they will. We know Merck is maybe sniffing around. Maybe they'll have a partnership. And especially even if they didn't, they're transformed now. With, with these guys on board, who the heck would call them a fraud? Who the heck would put a uh, slanderous article out there? The, more than two thirds of the FBI reported this guy. Are you going to attack his company? Are you going to are you going to mess with his money? It's over. The shorts are not coming back. So anyway, that doesn't even answer your question either. But uh, yes, it, I guess, or maybe it does. It, it's a totally transformed company. And any the, even if they didn't have anything lined up, why wouldn't Pfizer, Merck, Bristol Myers? Why wouldn't they come knocking? So uh, thank you, Jay. Rajesh Balbus, it gives the right to buy $33, but you get it for free though, and it has value. Morning Joe, warrant photo hilarious. Thank you, MT. Where is the, everybody? <laughs> Did you mind if I ask, are you, uh, you're, I mean, I guess if you think it's funny, it must be my age, I guess. So uh, 19, uh, warrant photo hilarious. When is the deadline to exercise your warrants? It is November. Although the bonus program is like a month-ish or whatever. Thanks. So if I wait out till next year and Saba is 100, I can still buy. That is the beauty of it. Yes, you can buy, uh, and you and and you got it for free. <laughs> so it's an so you you got an infinite return. But let's just say you paid a dollar for it. It'll go for about five bucks. But so in that case, it's like a seven. It's a sixty-seven dollar return. So like a thirteen or fourteen x on the five dollar gift they gave you. That's right. Now remember, if you buy those seventy-five dollar calls and it goes to a thousand seventy-five, the three dollars you paid is worth. Uh, you get a three hundred x on that. That the post data calls. These are these are pre data. Uh, Rajesh. So remember, just to finish that off, one thing I'm suggesting is selling the. If you don't have, you can exercise it. and That's fine. You could sell the warrant though and get that seven bucks per warrant or whatever it is, and then you could buy those post data calls. And if you're worried, oh, Joe, you're telling people to sell, that's going to knock the price down. Buying calls, especially out of the money calls when they're cheap, you get, it represents more shares. The, those, those $75 calls are, will put more pressure, more buying pressure. Uh, yes, if Saba doesn't redeem those before they have clause, they can redeem before that date, but they will give up 20 day notice. Maybe you understand that better than I do, Rajesh. JD, furthermore, do we know when the shorts have to cover by with these warrants being issued? Thanks for all you do. Truly enjoy learning from you almost every day. Take some time off on Christmas. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. Uh, this year is going to be a great year. I'm not taking any time off until uh, this year is, uh, uh, we ring every little bit out of this year, um, this coming year. Uh, they, I mean, it's up to them. It's, if they, if they want to stay short, that's fine. But I mean, do you want to, would you short this company? And besides, the only way they were knocking it down was with nefarious stuff, not with real arguments. So are they going to do that again with the, again, I keep saying, but the, the third guy at the FBI there? I think not. All right, much obliged. Thanks again. Sorry, Joe, I meant to ask when your chance to get the half shares expire. About a month. 
I think about a month, like there was that uh, funny language. So I think about a month. So if you just do it right away, you get it. Thanks to you as well, Joe. I understand it clear now. Great. I'm, I'm very happy. Super. Uh, I'm very happy. Great. Uh, my inter interactive brokers broker today gave me a note notif about a notice about cassava doing a spinoff. Things are in motion. Yeah, they're doing a, like Fintel has it as a share split. They're, they're, they're getting it wrong. Sometimes they get these things wrong on purpose. Hello, Joe. Hello, Afsal. What if overall milds and moderates phase three data is not statistically significant, but data for milds is statistically significant? Will FDA give SAVA approval for milds indication only? I think that they will because that population is pre-specified, as we talked about. That's an enormous thing. Then they didn't pre-specify dozens of populations. That was like the main one. We're looking at milds and moderates. They're pre-stratified that way. There's a whole bunch of other things. They can't, they can't have cancer. They can't have comorbidities. They can't have all this other stuff. But those are the two big groups they're looking at. So yes, I do think that they would definitely, I think there's no question about it, that they would be approved in mild. Frankly, it's a good question, but yes. And then that would really just come down to label. So, so but, but the, the, I think that they would need still to get statistical significance in the mild group, but then I think they would get approved on that. Uh, and then, and so they, it would be on the label, it would be approved and the label would just say uh, for mild people, I guess. Uh, the big money is treating moderates because there is no approved therapy, almost zero competition. If data is also significant for moderates, that upside for valuation will be huge. And it very well could be Afzal because talking to Hillary, her dad was moderate for sure. He was, uh, he didn't know who mom was. Hey dad, uh, did mom uh, order dinner? Who's mom? That's moderate stuff. And then he drove a thousand miles to Florida to see her and drove back. And the other, uh, other people had moderates that were, were, were uh, really seeming like, like the woman, Dr. E's friend's mother-in-law, she couldn't be left alone. It wasn't little things here or there. She couldn't be left alone. It was moderate. So I'm, I'm bullish on moderates. Golden cross about to happen. That is where the 50 day moving average crosses up above the 200 day moving average. And a lot of the technicians, that's like, there's people that make a lot of money. That's all they do is, uh, is, is that. <laughs> the biggest thing in te te technicals is the charts. The biggest thing in charts is momentum. And so that's like the number one thing people do is watch the moving averages. And this is a big thing when the 50 crosses the 200. <laughs> and, uh, and then because of that, it like works because people do it because it's, it's a stupid thing. And then because of people do it, it works. Self-enforcing. Uh, thank you kindly, Babas. What a kind, polite person. R. Teixeira, does this mean there's a decent risk we will fall to 22 for a bit when everyone gets the bonus shares, etc.? I suppose it would just be worth selling them into the market due to arbitrage, or am I wrong? We talked about this yesterday. You're not necessarily wrong, but somebody has to sell and not buy back. Are you going to sell? They just transformed the company. And I think they're going to 50 billion. They're, at the end of this, they'll be what, 2 billion? I think they're going to 50 billion on data and then with deals and things like that, like just, just, on, just when they reveal the data. Uh, in that neighborhood anyway, I'm just saying that number now. Uh, so it could, it could go down to 22, but it does not automatically happen. Somebody has to sell. They would have to reshort it. Maybe they will, but would you reshort this thing? This is the worst short in the market now. That I don't think they're going to reshort it and maybe people will sell. But maybe not. I'm not selling. In fact, I might as well into those calls and stay there. <laughs> so uh, I'm just, I'm just long-term playing the data. So I'm not selling a share. Uh, I mean, maybe you'll, maybe you'll sell, and maybe other people. Will, but that, it'll take that. It's not automatic. The number of share, the 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 nominal share count will increase, and we will see that. But uh, the share, it's not. The people need to sell and not buy back in order to uh, sell the shares, not the warrant. Either sell the shares and not buy back or short it again. I'm glad the company did this to finance instead of the typical dump in the market with shares. It was a clever move. Shorts have been unusually quiet. It shut them up. This company has transformed. This, with the FBI guy there, the, the short game is over. The only reason this thing's ever going down on the attacks was the short nonsense, the phantom shares and all that crap. Never real things. It all, it's all over. It's over now. There's a long, long, long way to go now. Shorts have been unusual. Yeah, they're done. They're, they're, they're pretty much done, I think. 
Dave, when is the actual end of the phase three study? This feels like it is going to infinity. Uh, the next one's like six months after that. So uh, we get in December and then summer, I guess we get the other one. I like the pick, said Silver. I'm glad, Silver. Thank you, my friend. JC, hi, Joe. Good morning. And thanks for explaining this once again. Still not sure if it's better to exercise or sell them. Uh, if you got the cash, uh, go ahead and exercise. Or if you like those calls, sell them and buy the calls. You know, whatever. It is, it, it, frankly, we, it, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. It, it's If you exercise and have those extra free shares, great. Uh, or if you sell the right to have that, that has value. So you get some good cash for that, great. Buy cassava with it. <laughs> calls are, or, it, we did the math. If you, if you then turn around and buy common with it, it's the same as if you exercise it. The, you know, so six of one. Tim, good to see you, my friend. Can institutions buy a Matil in a day Friday? Are we sure cassava is correct? I don't. I think it takes two days to settle, even if you're an institution. Maybe I'm wrong about that. A brokerage today buys, holds, and sells shares. I mean, they're they're the ones keep. They're, they're the they are the, uh, the the foxes running the hen house. So I mean, they're. I'm sure they'll just mark it. Yeah, we we uh, we bought this. You know, whenever we needed to. <laughs> a brokerage today buys, holds, and sells shares in its own street name. That is the name of the individual brokerage rather than an individual client's name. Yes. Behind the scenes, the stock records the name of the real owner. Yeah, there's a ledger, but they don't buy enough stock. So they have a ledger. And so you have 10,000 shares and I have however many that according to their, their books, but they don't have enough shares. It's like the bank and fractional reserve banking. It's not supposed to be that way, but it is. And it, that person is known in law as the beneficial owner. That is the individual as the actual owner of the stock, even though it is the ownership may be recorded under another name of the owner. Under another name, such as the brokerage firm's name for record keeping purposes. The stock record department, every brokerage has a stock record department that is charged with maintaining accurate records of all of its transactions on behalf of clients for each trans. That was a book, my friend. Thank you. Joe says, Miles, good to see you. Looking forward to this year. I am too. It's going to be a great year. I remember the open label data was late. It's good strategy to keep in mind to roll the calls when money to get more time. That's what I said. Uh, yeah. This, yeah. So th that's what I, is that I bought these January calls, but then when eventually if, when we, if we just hang on March, February will pop up, I'll buy some more time. Yeah. And, and, and there might be higher strikes available at that time as well. Totally agree. Uh, and he's saying roll. What is roll? Roll is simultaneously buying and selling options. So you would sell the, uh, the Januaries and then buy simultaneously the two month later ones. That way, the person on the other end of the trade, maybe their exposure is the same. So they'll give you'll get a better deal because they don't have to uh, they don't have to worry about uh, get, getting collateral or whatever. Kish, hi, Joe. Can you can convert warrants to shares for free by keeping them? Uh, only if you have money, if, like if you go into, if you have, you might not have ever had calls and that's fine. But if you like your E-Trade account, if you bought calls, there'd be a little drop. When you, when you see the name of the call, there'd be a little drop down next to it and you could uh, hit exercise. And then if you had the cash, you could exercise it and buy the shares. So that's how that works. Uh, but you, you get the warrant for free, but you don't convert it for free. You can sell it for free and get money for free. Or to share it, nah, I'm not selling a share either. Yeah, until we see phase three. If it's good, it's like a forever hold. I mean, this is all sign. We, we picked the right one. If this works, this is the number one thing you can do in the world. Is and then by the way, the biggest margins are just about anything are drugs. And the number one need just about in the world is Alzheimer's. I mean, the healthcare systems around the world are screaming for this exactly. I mean, this is so in the bullseye of what the world needs. It is the, such a huge play. If it is good, like a forever hold, but traders could, which is what I say, I suppose. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just holding through data and I think it's going to be good. Whatever happens. Hi, Joe. Thanks for all you do. I'm concerned calls will adversely be uh, affected by the dilution since stock count is unpredictable. Won't this adversely reduce call price? Uh, maybe because it is, it is competition for call price for, uh, like if you if you wanted to get exposure to uh, the upside, you were going to buy calls. Uh, there's there there are there's some of the demand will go to the warrants. So yes. However, by the time data gets here, all of this stuff will be done, and it'll be as if it was a regular raise, and so the calls I mean will not have been affected from that point of view. So it, it by itself without the three people coming on board, I, I hold the calls. This was a way to increase the market cap 
without increasing the share price. So as a call holder, hmm, it wouldn't be good, except that it was a part of landing these three people and transforming the company. And by the way, they would have looked at that open label data. So to me, it just came along with the best thing ever, even though by itself, it's a dilution, but it just came along with the best thing the company's ever done. JC, if the share price goes down to 22 in the short term, what do you think would happen to the price of the warrants at that point? Uh, they would still be worth, like if you look at, you can go look at the calls uh, for November or uh, I guess you'd have to average, or just look at like, I think there's May and then uh, just add some more onto May, like double what May's going for or something like that. Uh, but yeah, if you, I mean, the rights at the money calls are worth something. So you can buy it at 22 or whatever, uh, the right to buy it at 22, even, even if the stock is not above that, there's no intrinsic value. But like those $75 calls have no intrinsic value yet but that right is worth something so you don't get that for free you have to pay for it <laughs> hi joe greetings from mauritius thanks for everything sack great to see you my friend good for you be nice to be nice to sack hi joe should is it good time to buy sabanel as it's showing uptrend yes the technicals i mean in the short term my friend i don't play the short term like Sabe. it's a wacky stock <laughs> but the long term, I'm convinced that this is a great company. So I think this is a great this. I think we'll look back if this is a 10 billion people will be like, do you still think it's good to buy? And I'll be like, yeah. But remember, back under 30 bucks, we were saying it was a great time. So, yes, I do. Does it mean it can't go in the short term? It can go down. I don't know. But it's a great time to buy long term. Not investment advice, not investment advice, not investment advice. ENR, it would be useful to show the Sava mechanics of selling the warrants for stock and selling the warrants for cash. So you exercise for stock. Like if you have E-Trade, when you get these warrants, there'll be a little drop down and you hit exercise. And as long as there's cash there, uh, there you'll, uh, as long as there's cash there, uh, you'll, it'll, it'll go ahead and exercise. And then selling them is just like selling a stock. Bids and asks. You think this thing is worth seven bucks or ten bucks or whatever? Sell uh, with a, you know with an ask for ten bucks or whatever it is, just like a stock. Iova is still long and strong. I'm long Labu. I, I still love it. I still I still think it's a I think it's a great one. Uh, but frankly, I've, I've I've not really been paying too much attention to it. But yeah, I st I'm still still bullish. You need to provide concrete details regarding warrant transfer or cash sale. Your generalities are not enough. Why don't you provide them, my friend? <laughs> Miles, Joe, could you venture an educated guess based on experience when there would be more calls available, such as March 2025 calls? Is there any way to know? Uh, yeah, I, I, I've looked this up. When do these darn things come on? There's a schedule. There's, there's each stock. There's three different schedules, and each stock is on a different at least sometimes. Uh, but I can't figure out what the schedules are. So I just, I just keep like, refreshing every Friday or every weekend. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as it'll, it'll be, I'll say that uh, uh, maybe once the, I guess there's may, probably some January, I haven't really paid attention to the near term calls. There's probably some January calls. Maybe when they roll off, there'll be some, some further one out, out uh, come on, something like that. You know, what are you saying here? You need to provide concrete details, read warrant transfer or cash sale. Your generalities are not enough. All right. So this thing will be worth like, it'll be going for like 10 bucks or whatever. If you want to sell it, just sell it. Just like you sell a stock. So trade orders here uh, or, or however, whatever broker you're on, just trade it as if it's just like it was a stock with, a, with an ask price, just like it was a stock. And there'll be a bid and an ask. It'll be called Sava W, S-A-V-A-W. And you can sell it just like you sell a stock, and there'll be a bid and ask. It'll be 850 is the bid and 875 is the ask by the time you sell. So put an ask in for 860 and maybe you get it or whatever. <laughs> and uh, or if you want to exercise it, when it's listed, when you look in your e-trade or whatever, and everything's listed there, you'll have a drop down next to Sava W, and you can it'll give you an option to hit exercise. And as long as you have the cash, you can then follow the little uh, flow and exercise it. And you are a curmudgeon. You are always so grumpy with me. All right, great to see you guys. We'll do it again tomorrow, and I will see you in the Discord. Have a great night. See you in the